Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake from MyGamer.com and SquallSnake.com. Today I'm playing Savage Halloween on Xbox One. This is the very first time I'm playing this game. Don't know too much about it. Gonna play a one-player game. Second boss from 2020. Hmm, maybe this was a PC game, Steam game. We're definitely gonna be playing it on normal. We got James, Lulu, and Dominica. You gotta start with James, right? He's the all-rounder, even though Lulu looks pretty sweet. So it looks like the seven levels are locked, except for level one. So, of course, let's jump in and play level one Awakening. You can follow me on Twitter, at ZachGaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. -A -A I like the classic kind of 8-bit graphics. Damn punks. Well. That speed shouldn't take long to reach the castle. Look at that sweet ride. Nice Castlevania intro, style intro. Alright, stage 1-1. One, one. Like a Contra gun. Oh, I just got an achievement, first kill. Nice and easy. Change weapons with L or R. Oh, okay, I get it now. So you have limited spread shots. It's like a Contra. Oh, there you go. So you can aim in place by holding the left trigger or B button. Looks like you get unlimited put-put ammo. And you can aim only in 45 degrees. So it's not like a twin-stick shooter. So far, I'm liking this. A Castlevania-style game, but with a gun. I mean, that's kind of a winning formula. What is this thing? This point, oh, so you can double jump. All right. gonna save my spread shots don't know what's gonna be here don't know what's coming next that's kind of the thing about ah bad jump with games like these when you get a limited ammo supply oh that was another bad jump oh, I'm gonna I gotta double jump on this thing I think that heart should give me some health back I hope yeah full health oh You know, a lot of times, games will give you a cooldown timer instead. So instead of rationing off your precious ammo, you kind of use as much as you want, but you gotta wait. You can't spam those attacks. But that's okay. That's not what this game is. I'm sure it's been designed for that. I don't know what bat was bat, though. That's the spread gun. Kind of better to use the straightforward gun in this situation anyway. Thought maybe I'd find some wall meat back there. A lot of enemies. gun. Ooh. A bouncer. Kind of nice. Special. Press Y. So 
use the bumpers to change weapon. And okay. So all the way, I'm going to shoot right here. If you look straight up, this is like a pumpkin thing. I'm pretty sure that's my special Y move that I only get three of. Maybe I'll try to save it for a boss. Oh yeah, you can shoot on the ladder. That's cool. I like that. Sometimes you get games where you can't shoot on the ladder. There are some blind jumps. That was a pretty not good blind jump there. But we got through it. They compensated for it by giving you a heart. I like how this dude's like, go right. Like, where else am I going to go? Like, I couldn't figure that out. It was only a matter of time before you get the lava balls. Kind of saw that coming. This is a new gun. Oh, another kind of not quite like the bouncer gun, but a lot weaker. Hold down the left trigger and still aim without moving. Oh, bad jump, bad jump. Got a double jump. Gonna run out of ammo. Still no secrets. Chicken. Like a rocket gun. going on here. Which? Does anyone need a ride? Yes. Definitely need a ride. I will take this. I will take this. I think it just makes it a shooter. Got an achievement. 50, uh, store 200 bullets of any type. So this section's a little weird because if you push back, then he aims back. So you kind of have to use the, the left trigger. A lot here. Uh, yeah, the spread gun but it is not as powerful and it's a lot slower. I got another achievement, 400 bullets stockpile. It's kind of hard to cycle through all the guns on the fly, especially if you when you get a a crazy fast shooter level like this. But I like how it switches things up. Goes from a platformer to a shooter. And this is just level one. A nice parallax scrolling effect. Just 
checkpoint. We have a new enemy type. Gotta keep moving. Another special. I'm gonna hit Y. Oh, the Y just put out little bombs. I thought it was gonna be like a a screen clearing effect. But alas, it was not to be. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Give me a follow. I give away game codes all the time. You can ask like almost any one of my followers. I've probably given them something at some point. And I kind of feel like this part of the stage has gone on long enough. It's the same enemy types. If you got, gave me a new enemy type, okay, that'd be fine, but now I got a chicken bomb. There's another checkpoint. This is a nice gun to use on this level. I didn't know the bullets, the ghosts can do this. This is good. Looks like we have a boss. anywhere. That was a pretty, if that was the boss, that was pretty easy. Got an achievement. Mini boss ghost kill. That was a mini boss. Alright. Stage 1-6. Thanks little witch. Got another achievement. 600 bullets. Store 600 bullets. Not see that coming. Didn't see that coming either. Kind of knew it was coming that time, but still could knock it out of the way. Use the chicken gun. <laughs> Not working too well. This gun seems to be the best. I'm gonna die. These little guys are annoying. Yeah. Oh, you just start right here. Okay. If you die, you just keep going. 
Alright, I did not know that was the case. Damn it, I knew he was coming. Oh, I thought it was going to come from the other direction. Why special move? Okay, I killed him. That that helped. Special kill. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Kill any boss with a special attack. Got that achievement. And cleared stage one. Tallies up your points. Another achievement. First boss killed. Kill the first boss. Ice Witch is home. Here's level two. So, I'm gonna hit exit. I hope this saves. This is going to be a good test. Savage Halloween, one player, normal. Let's just pick Lulu. Oh, I can pick level two now. Okay, good. So it doesn't necessarily like save your progress, but it checks off where you've been and where you can go. So kind of cool. This is Savage Halloween on Xbox One. Give it a shot. It's a very simple game. I like it. It's a nice Contra clone. Kind of like Castlevania. I just wanted to stream just to give a sample of the gameplay, but I'm digging it so far. Pretty cool. I like how you got three characters, and there's even a two-player mode. Maybe I'll give that a shot later. So check me out on Twitter, at ZachGaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. -A -A -Z. I'm the editor-in-chief of MyGamer.com. I've been writing for the site for almost two decades. My personal blog is Squallsnake.com. And until next time, I appreciate you watching, and thank you, and I'll see you next time, and game on.